There is worry and fear from a section of Ugandans as the country continue witnessing repeated and calculated attacks towards the security sports and personnel in the country. Uh, yesterday, we finally got the thug that killed our soldier in Gaddafi. In the exchange of fire, we lost one soldier and he, we killed him, recovered the two guns he had taken, plus uh, UPDF uniforms, telephones. This was a deserter, he had deserted in Gaddafi where he had been a weapons instructor. So we recovered our two guns, the three magazines he had taken, we recovered them. The Saturday 26th November 2022 ambush of security operatives in Nakaseke district is still fresh. Now last night, our patrol in Kapeka was ambushed by thugs. They shot, killed one soldier, we returned the fire, both attackers were put out of action and we recovered the gun from them as well. However, according to government, time for using soft gloves has now come to an end. Oh, evil minds are there, but I want to assure Ugandans that UPDF, the security forces of Uganda, the government of Uganda is watching and following up very closely. By the way, we have arrested some of them. We, have already, we are already not only close, but we are with them. And I want to assure Ugandans that nobody is going to disturb this peace. The peace is a must for Uganda. We suffer the road, we need to have peace in this country. So our intention is to make sure that appetite for guns is killed. So anybody who will be, who has been eyeing our guns, prepare your, your will or your grave because you will go. How about the concern that the decision literally gives no room to first-hand information? Interrogation is done by police. When you attack us, we return fire. And when we return fire, it's direct on the body. So, if people had hoped that we would arrest them and interrogate, sorry, you attempt our gun, to take our guns, we kill you. There's no compromise about it. The government of Uganda, however, reassures the general public that all efforts are being done to ensure there is peace and stability in the country. Robert Nyango, UBC News, Kampala.